I'm chair and co-founder of Head for Change, but I'm a Spennymoor girl. I was born here, I went to school here, I met my husband here. I know Deborah Swinburne, who is one of the directors of Spennymoor Football Club very well. And when I founded Head for Change, I came to Deborah and I said, is there any chance of Spennymoor Town, Bill's first club, hosting a game? part of Head for Change. And Deborah said to me, great idea. Spennymoor Football Club was Bill's first club. Bill and I were both school kids together at Spennymoor Grammar School. He played for the school and he played for Spennymoor. And so it's held a very special place in his heart. There's a really strong link between Bill and Brad and it's almost like life goes full circle. Many years ago, Bill had sports stores and he had a warehouse that served those sports stores and Brad worked in the warehouse with Bill. Brad at that time had aspirations to be a professional footballer. He was extremely appreciative to Bill for giving him the time off to follow that particular dream. And I think he was also appreciative to Bill for giving him opportunities to learn more. And so the very fact that now, so much further on in life, Brad is able to help Bill is absolutely fantastic. Area that we're lo looking for money for is research, because we want to look at investigating not just the causes of the sports-related neurodegenerative disease, but in vivo diagnosis and potentially a cure. I'd like to invite everybody along on the 26th of September, Sunday the 26th of September. The kickoff is at 3 p.m. The gates will be open from 12 noon. And if you want to come along and see a unique experiment, if you want to come along and think further on how to protect the players and protect the game, then we welcome you to the brewery field at Spennymoor.